so this is our file sharing app you can upload any file uh, just by clicking on this upload button once you select a file and hit open uh, the app instantly generates a download link you can copy this link and send it to anyone you want when they open it they will be able to download the file directly right now everything is running on localhost which means it's only accessible on our own system to make it public and shareable with everyone um, we will need to deploy it online we will use render to deploy our project our project directory contains two main folders frontend and backend inside the backend folder we have package.json package.log.json and node modules we will move this to the root directory of our project now the package.json is in a uh, root folder so to access this index.js we need to uh, add backend and a forward slash before index.js this tells the start script to open backend folder and insert this run index.js additionally replace nodemon with node because nodemon is primarily used for development and node is recommended for production next uh, write this build script uh, inside this build write npm install this will install dependencies for the backend and with a logical end operator write npm installs uh, double dash prefix frontend and this will navigate into frontend folder and install its dependencies and again with a logical end operator and write npm run build and double dash prefix frontend this will run the build script inside the frontend folder to generate production ready files and now in the terminal write npm run build and after this you can see a folder named dist is created inside this frontend folder now our target is when the backend starts it should also serve the frontend to achieve this update index.js inside uh, the backend folder here write const double underscore and dir name and write path dot resolve and import path from path now write app dot use express dot static and this serve the static file such as html css javascript image file etc from our front end and inside this pass uh, this dir name and this folder and inside uh, front end we will get the dist folder and now write app.get and this this ensures that uh, index.html will serve from the dist folder when user access this site uh, so we have successfully completed the setup so that the front end will be automatically served when the backend starts now we need to hide our important information from the code for example the port number backend url and mongodb connection string to do this we will use dot env we have already installed dot env uh, while setting up this backend if it is not installed install it now create a dot env file and store the sensitive information there inside the dot env file define the port variable we are using port 9000 now in index.js import dot env from dot env and below this app write 
डॉट एन बी डॉट कॉन्फिक एक्सेस द एनवायरमेंटल वेरिएबल यूजिंग प्रोसेस डॉट ई एन बी डॉट पोर्ट द पोर्ट वेरिएबल कम्स फ्रॉम द डॉट एन बी फाइल नेक्स्ट वी विल डू द सेम इन अपलोड कंट्रोलर डॉट जे एस इम्पोर्ट डॉट एन वी एंड कॉल डॉट एन बी डॉट कॉन्फिक मूव द बेक एंड यू आर एल टू द डॉट एन बी फाइल बाई क्रिएटिंग ए वेरिएबल नेम्ड बेक एंड यू आर एल इन अपलोड कंट्रोलर डॉट जे एस एक्सेस इट by using process dot env dot backend url in a variable and down here use string interpolation with dollar sign and car and the curly braces and insert this variable similarly in db dot js move the mongodb connection string to dot env under the variable mongodb url in db dot js import dot env call dot env dot config and access the variable using process dot env dot mongodb url now we will do the same for the front end create a dot env file in the front end directory if we open the file uh, api dot js here we used our Uh, backend URL, so we have to move it to dot env file. So copy this path and set it in a variable in dot env. Ensure that the variable name starts with byte. Uh, access it in API dot js using import dot meta dot env dot byte backend URL. Now replace double quotes with back ticks and delete this portion and use string interpolation to insert this variable this will keep our sensitive information secure and out of the main code base we will upload this project to github before uploading we need to make sure that Uh, both dot env files are ignored and not uploaded to the repository to do this in the front end folder open dot git ignore if you don't have dot git ignore you can create one and add dot env to git ignore so that uh, git will ignore this uh, dot env file during commits and in the root directory here we can see we don't have any dot git ignore file So for hiding this dot env file we need to create a dot git ignore file now open this dot git ignore and inside it add dot env this will prevent our environment file from being uploaded to github uh, now we have to ignore this node modules folder so for uh, ignore this node module folder we have to write node modules and a forward slash this will ignore this node modules uh, folder and we have also uh, node modules in our front end folder uh, for ignore this uh, let's open this git ignore from front end folder and here write node modules and a forward slash After uploading your project files to GitHub, open the render dashboard in your browser. Click on New and select Web Service. In the Git Provider section, choose the repository of the app you just uploaded. Next, give your project a name in the corresponding field. scroll down to the language section and select node and keep the branch as it is render will automatically detect it from your git repository scroll down a bit more for the build command 
if you check the package.json file you can see it's set to build so here enter npm run build for the start command uh, it's defined as start in package.json so here enter npm run start scroll down again and choose the free plan option now under the environment variables you will need to add the variables from your .env file open your uh, root .env file copy the contents and paste them into the environment variables leave the backend url as it is for now we will update it later next open your frontend.env file copy this and paste this here and click create web service once everything is set up you will see a message build successful and your service is live now copy the link provided by render and go to the environment section and click edit and update both backend url with the new url provided by render click this uh, save rebuild and deploy button render will rebuild your app with the new environment configuration once deployment is complete um, open the link in your browser your app should now be live by selecting a file in the app you will receive a generated link copy that link open it in your browser and you will able to download the image by using this link